All right, CAD fans. In this video, we're going to draw a wide flange beam, a W12 by 190. Uh, we'll start with the units. See where we're at here. Let's switch to uh, fractional of an inch, and I'm going to dial it down to a 32nd of an inch. Hit OK. I started with just the regular ACAD uh, template. If you're if you're checking on that, and make sure. Let's check our settings on the snap and grid and they're both off so that's not going to interfere then we're going to set up layers layers are different parts of the drawing that you might want to separate you'll see how it works as, as we get going here uh, but before I do that I'm going to type menu bar and a value of one and that's going to bring up this menu up here which is more like the Mac version, maybe it will help some of, the, some of those folks. And go to Format Layer, and something should come up. Yep, there it is. And I'm going to make a new layer. I know I didn't want to rename that layer. Hold on. Make a new layer, and we're going to call it Work. And I'm going to change the color of it to red. And OK, and I'm going to double click on it here and make it the active layer. And then this interface over here, if I left click on properties, I'm going to do auto hide. So when I move away from it, it should just dock over there on the left. Now, let's start drawing, drawing the wide flange with the draw menu a box. And I'll start at 0, 0, just for convenience. And then the particular one I'm drawing here is 12 and 5 eighths wide by, checking my notes here, 14 and 3 eighths high. There we go. Let's do zoom extents. And there's my boundary box around the uh, wide flange that I'm eventually going to draw. The next thing I'm going to do is use X line. I'll just type in X line and you see the prompt there I'll type vertical and I'm going to put a mid a center line that way and then uh, it's good let's do this again spacebar horizontal so this is the center lines in both directions of my wide flange beam if you didn't see this, those little green things come on that I found, uh, the snap things, you remember that the F3 key, the snaps, object snaps, should be turned on. Now we'll do a little uh, line drawing here to establish the edge of the flange and, uh, excuse me, the edge of the web and the K value. So let's do a from, and we'll start from right there and move over. I think I just messed up, but I'll hit U for undo. And back here to from. And then I'll zoom in a little bit to make sure I can see it. Left click. And then the offset is going to be 17 30 seconds of an inch, half of the width width of the web. Comma 0. And then from there, oh, I forget. You know what I forgot to do? The absolute. So I will hit undo again, and try one more time. From base point, right there. Yep. And then the offset at 17, 30 seconds, comma zero. Just typing that in, and there is the start of my line, which is going to go down here. And what I want to do is, like, what I can use is that object tra that object snap tracking and make it go right to that line, right there. And then we're going to do, and then we'll do a line again. This time we are over 1 and 3 sixteenths. See if I can do it all in one move here this time without screwing up. And then the offset is going to be at 1 and 3 three sixteenths comma zero and we'll go down to the same what I did is I moved the mouse over 
and lines right up on that line. So now I have the two lines for the web and the K. Let's go ahead and do the flange one. Bicycling while ADD. Look at all these great civil engineering things. An arch bridge made out of stone. I wonder how they made those rocks curved like that. That had to be complicated. Nice looking wall too. And here, another steel bridge. That's cool. Same thing. We'll go uh, one and three quarters from here. So from, we'll left click on that. Offset at zero comma minus one and three quarters of an inch. Just like that. I didn't like that, but it, I must have typed something wrong. There we go. And that goes across. Looks like it's going to snap right to the line nicely. And then we'll do that one more time. Get the space bar from. And this time I think I got to go down at 0, comma, what is it? 2 and 7 sixteenths. 2 minus 2 and 7 sixteenths of an inch. And then I go across, same way. Enter. So this is to set up a, a working grid to draw from. So now I can switch the uh, layer, working layer off. Or I'll leave the layer on, but switch to working in the default layer, zero. And that'll change my color to white. And I'll use a polyline. Start drawing top center, left click, and this is going to be pretty fast now. I can left click my way around with the flange, get to the K value here. Now I got to draw an arc between those two, so if I right click, switch to arc mode, or just type arc in the command line, I'll zoom in a little bit. I can go right to there. Then I'll switch back to line mode. This time I'll type it in. And then we zoom back out. Middle mouse button drag up. And left click. Enter. So there is one quarter of my wide flange. Next thing we can do, modify mirror. I'll select what I just drew and hit enter first point of mirror is going to be here, second point of mirror is going to be there, so I left clicked on both of those, erase source objects, no, then we'll do the same thing again, select the two of them, enter, mirror line is going to be there this time, and there, source objects, no, and there is my wide flange beam. Except I got all these funny red lines in there, so let's go back to our layer deal. Get out there. Okay. And shut off the view is that little light bulb. And that shuts off our working lines. And there's a nice good wide flange beam.